yes my friends a very important question for all of us is to ask ourselves where is our place in nation why do I ask this question because most people have a place in nation in the world you see and this is a problem because it, and you end up betraying the kingdom of God and denying it you see if 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 your place in nation uh, is not in the kingdom of of heaven you see so let me let me read for you from uh, John book of John chapter 11 verse uh, 47 and we read on okay then verse 47 so John 11:47 then gathered the chief priests and Pharisees a council and said what do we for this man doeth many miracles because they had been told if you read in verse verse 46 they had been told what Jesus said was doing see so in verse 47 so, uh, 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 you know this man doeth many miracles then in verse 48 if we let him thus alone all men will believe on him and the Romans shall come and take away both our place and nation you see and one of them named Cephas being the high priest that same year said unto them ye know nothing at all nor consider that it is expedient for us that one man should die for the people and that the whole nation perish not and this spake he not of himself but being high priest that year he prophesied that Jesus should die for that nation you see and not for that nation only but also uh, he should gather together in one the children of God that were scattered abroad see then from that day forth they took counsel together for to put him to death you see so my, my friends you know which which nation uh, which nation lives in you you see which what 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 what, what kingdom you know are you are you proclaiming really you see because if if we are if we are proclaiming the the, the kingdom of God then you see we will not be uh, enslaved you know to the to the nations of this world then we will have to submit ourselves to all nations of this world um, for the sake of the kingdom of God not for our own sake you see not for our own not for the sake of the flesh but for the sake of the kingdom of God you see so we will, we will, if we are doing these things for the kingdom of God, we will keep the commandments of Jesus Christ wherever we go. You see, so if we have a place and nation that is outside of the kingdom of God, you see, then this will end up denying and actually crucifying Jesus Christ. You see. So this is this is what uh, people fail to 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 understand is that all the nations of the world they have an identity for the people for their particular people a way of doing things something to feel proud in a security you know and a way you know but in the end my friend you have to die to that you see you have to die to all those things because then when you die who are you going to what are you going to belong to you see this is why Jesus you know he, in another place you know his words sometimes you know they can sound very tough you know because uh, 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 you know in one place he said if you don't uh, hate your mother your mother your brother your wife your sisters and all then you can you know you cannot follow me you know if we don't lose our life in this world for the sake of the kingdom of God then what happens you see then we will deny the kingdom of God it's very very simple the the whole problem is that Christians have catered interpretations and verses for themselves to justify the physical the flesh you see so now all of a sudden we can be Russian Christian we can be this Christian and then you say my people and you you you, you end up submitting to that you see and, and 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 in the end you end up advocating the things that are advocated by the flesh you see so you can represent a physical nation um, truly when you represent the kingdom of God in that nation see the kingdom of God doesn't fight with flesh and blood it fights in the spirit 
it's a spiritual war that you become a part of you see and your, your, your faith will have to be in the unseen invisible kingdom you see in another place Paul said focus not on the seen but what is unseen what is seen is temporary what is unseen is eternal you see so what are you focusing on what are we focusing what am I focusing on you see are we closing our physical eyes because the world is teaching you to open your carnal eyes more and more you see in in in, in uh In um, Galatians chapter 4, if I'm not mistaken, it makes re reference to the children of bondage and the children of the Spirit. You see, the children of bondage are not free, but the children of the Spirit are free, but the children of bondage will persecute the, the spiritual one. You see, if we go to Galatians chapter 4, um, verse... Uh, 23 it says but he who was of the bond woman was born after the flesh but he of the free woman us was by promise see which things are an allegory for these are the two covenants the one from Mount Sinai which gendereth to bondage which is Agar verse 25 for this Agar is Mount Sinai in Arabia and answereth to Jerusalem which now is and is in bondage with her children you see he says for this is Agar in Mount Sinai in Arabia and answer is to Jerusalem which now is and is in bondage with her children but Jerusalem which is above is free which is the mother of us all for it is written rejoice thou barren that bearest not break forth and cry thou that travailest not for the desolate hath many more children than she which hath an husband now we brethren as Isaac was are the children of promise but then as that was born after the flesh persecuted him that was born after the spirit even so it now is nevertheless what saith the scripture cast out the bond woman and her son for the son of the bond woman shall not be heir with the son of the free woman so then brethren we are not children of the bond woman but of the free my friends are you going to be cast out if you are a, 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 a Christian in bondage are you going to be cast out and take your place with the hypocrite and take take the place with the sinners are we going to be cast out my friends because this fleshly Christianity that is of bondage where we say we are all sinners we are all he, 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 so and so is an American Christian so and so is this yeah, my people my this and that. now I, I've done that before you know that's why I'm saying that you know I know what it's all about it's all about identity it's all about security it's all about feeling wanted you know but in the end my friends are we going to be cast out you see is it worth being cast out by from the kingdom of God just for this fleeting moment of this this finite life that we live in this human life this human life and the life of the flesh it's very small compared to eternity see are we strangers and pilgrims in this world looking for a kingdom and proclaiming that kingdom are we a spiritual holy priesthood offering up spiritual sacrifices to God or are we offering up fleshly sacrifices offering like Cain where we go and murder some we have murder in our heart we have all the sins of the world in our heart we have all kinds of things we are more concerned with eating and, 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 and the things of the world and drinking and all this uh, exalting the way of the world, the chariots and horses and kingdoms and empires of this world. Is that where our heart is, my friend? Are we building gospels to submit it to? Are we, do we have a Nebuchadnezzarian Christianity? Do we have a Christianity that is submitted to Pharaoh? Do you have a Christianity submitted to America? Or do you use your Christianity submitted to the Spirit of God? Is your Christianity submitted to... What is it submitted to, my friends? This is the question. Where are we going? If we're busy following all these fleshly things, you know, well, what's going to happen with us? You see? There is no such thing... 
it is not Jew, Gentile, uh, white, black, and all these other every other identity you have under this. Those are all lies. It's all part of the same thing. If you look at history properly, you see that there's been a kingdom all over the world that has been exalted. You see, and they all fell. Then they all probably created catered to themselves gospels. You see, if you have to stand before a kingdom and tell them and their whole identity comes from the flesh, you will have to tell them, hey, my friends, this identity has got nothing to do with God. And some of those people will also be your fellow Christians. You've got to tell them, hey, my friend, this has got nothing to do with the king. And what's going to happen is they're going to come after you. This has happened to me. Because you're not, you're not in bondage to what they're in bondage to. You're free. The only freedom, my friends, is when you're in the kingdom of God. Being led by the Spirit of God. That's where it is. When you start receiving of the kingdom of God. Now what does it mean to receive? You, be, you become spiritually nourished. You receive word from the kingdom of God. You receive revelations. You receive dreams. You receive visions. Miraculous things happen in your life. You're not just talking intellectual things. You know, just a knowledge pursuit memorization and all these other what other people are going through and things like that me I'm going to one day I'm going to be gone from here you know what matters is that where I'm going he lives in people you see by the grace of God I end up in the place I need to end up you know and that's the place that was owned by God that needs to be spread in this world when as long as the light is in this world then there's hope when the light is gone my friend there is no hope but it will be called hope and many of those who will be calling themselves Christian they are Christians of darkness they are promoting darkness they are promoting the world the flesh someone will say to you well you know those people over there they are bad people there is idolatry in that land that's why God allowed judgment so what is idolatry you see or oh, that race is cursed because they are of this, this complexion now, is, that, is this what Jesus Christ would say Or will he say flesh and blood will not inherit the kingdom of heaven? You see? <clears throat> all these things that the pride of, you know, this nation and that nation and all these kind of things. I'm not a part of all that, my friends. I'm not. It's all a lie. It's all half-truth and temporary. It says, out of every tribe and tongue they shall be gathered. There are many tribes and tongues that don't exist in the world anymore, but they're still going to be gathered. See, because God is not a slave to time and his perception is not enslaved to time to what we th our, our definition of time See, but because we don't know God we don't know his limitless capability we don't know the kingdom of God you see we know what somebody else is claiming to do from, from something some kind of research or something you see all this wisdom that you think is smart it's not smart what I'm saying is not smart. What I'm, if, I, if I'm saying something smart, I'm telling you, go and receive from the Spirit of God. That is smart. Let Him be our teacher. You see? Let Him show us our place and our nation. Let Him give us a name. Let Him give us an identity. Tell us what we need to do, who we are. Not, to, oh, my ancestors this, and we are this, and we are that. This is all, temp this is all a lie. Because in the end, we are all children of the flesh. No matter whether you are white or black, or Brazilian or, 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 or Egyptian or from, uh, from, uh, from Togo or from, from, from Timbuktu or from, from Scandinavia, it doesn't matter. You are all children of the flesh. And if you start exalting one flesh over another, you are choosing false choices. There. See? You have many Christians that now want to resort back to becoming follow Jewish customs and Jew they don't understand that these things it's got nothing to do with flesh and blood and, 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 and becoming all these you just label yourself you know where is Israel my friends where is Jerusalem you just read in Galatians this, you know Jerusalem is ab of above is free or is that Jerusalem abiding in you or are you thinking Jerusalem that, 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 that exists in that physical land? Or are you thinking something else? 
some physical place and nation. Because if you are thinking of that physical place and nation, then you will be against the kingdom of God. Because the kingdom of God is not about all that stuff. See, the kingdom of God has got nothing to do with this exaltation of the flesh. And I'm from here and you're from there. And we're going to fight because this is my land. No. It's got, if you are sent by the Spirit of God, you will be doing the works of the Spirit of God. You won't be doing the works of the flesh and murdering people and doing this other kind of advocating that stuff and justifying it because of some interpretation of some scripture somewhere. If you, if you truly know the Spirit of God, you will not be led into doing these kind of things. You would rather lose the phys that physical. What did Paul say? Would, why, 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 how can brother take brother to law and that before unjust man? He says, well, why wouldn't you rather take the wrong? See? Why wouldn't you rather take... Why can't you give... If you are willing to physically fight for this na nation, that means you have not received something that is greater. Your eyes haven't been opened yet. You're still blind, deaf and dumb. You see? You cannot see the way the kingdom of God sees now. So therefore you will not have the desires of the kingdom of God in your heart, abiding in you. You have the desires of the flesh and label on the outside. Jesus says, Jesus says, the Bible says, all this kind. And, and you don't know him. I remember one time, um, I was, I, I, I've been somebody that's been very involved with the physical gym. You see, you know, lifting and training weights and all this. I'm actually a trainer myself and all these kind of things. But there was one time, you know, people, one person came up to me one day. Someone's girlfriend came up to me one day. And she says, oh, you know, it's so nice to meet you, blah, blah, blah. My, my boyfriend has said a lot of things about you and this and that. And I'm thinking to myself, man, who is this guy? You know, I didn't vocalize that, you know. And and uh, the, the, the lady keeps on going. And then finally she, she, she talked about it. And I'm trying to picture. And then, you know, I'm trying to picture who this is. And, and to find out, I don't know this guy. You see, I don't know this guy. But I left him. I didn't say anything. I said, oh, okay, blah, blah, tell him I said hi, you know. So in the end, I didn't really know this guy, but he talked, he talked it up to his girlfriend because he wanted her to think that he's with me and to sh share in that kind of, you know, her to feel happy about her boyfriend, you see. So in order to better their relation, he used me in, in that situation. But he doesn't know me. I could have said, I don't know you. I don't know him. Who is he? You see? So this is this is not the guy knows of me. He saw me in the gym, he saw me doing this, he saw me doing that, he heard about me, all kinds of things, but he doesn't know me. If if his name gets mentioned, it's not because I don't like the guy, I'll say, What are you talking about? You see? So, my friends, we need to know the king, we need to know Jesus Christ, you know and know the kingdom of God and then we will know our place and what is the true nation you see we will become part of those who are gathered you see from every nation and tribe and tongue because the tribe and tongue and all these things it doesn't matter it's submitted to the spirit of God that is why if you look at when the spirit of God fell he spoke in all the different languages now the problem was what was ruling what was was the spirit of God submitted somehow which it can never be to that human language or was it the human language submitted to the spirit of God see it's the flesh that has to be submitted to the spirit of God not an unsubmitted flesh it's now defining the spirit of God it doesn't work you're developing for yourself a carnal Christianity you're developing for yourself a place and nation in this world you see all these doctrines that are being fostered all over the place to 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 strengthen the flesh you see people have looked at me and said oh you know they've called me inferior which doesn't matter though you know it, it's it's their own weakness for saying that because I don't care about uh, all those things but the problem is these people they're Christians you 
You see, they are busy saying all these things about, you know, I'm this and we are that and, you know, they're telling me I need what they have and I don't want what they have. It's an abomination to have what they have. What they have is a bondage Christianity. You see, what they have is a Christianity that is soaked in blood. A Christianity that is, that is, has got, has sustained its life from rivers and oceans of blood. Murder, death and destruction on the outside, it looks like the land of the freedom. You see, I don't want that. I don't want all that. Myself, I want real freedom. Myself, I want to be really free. And now does that mean? It means you have to find something greater than this flesh. You need to find something greater than human beings and the spirits that run this world. What is that? It's the Spirit of God, my friends. You see? Otherwise, you will be proclaiming all these other things. You know? You will now become a Gentile, you will now become Jew, you will now become black and white and, and quote Bible verses to justify how great you are. And oh, my people, and I was this, and you are that, and I'm this, and you see, it's all, it's all, it's all relative. It's all just, it's only what God says that is absolute. You see. So you have to be receiving from it. It's not that this God is doesn't speak. It's that human beings they're listening to other things. You see. So that's why, my friends, you know, for me. I've been uh, through a lot of things, you know. I've been through a lot of things, and I've seen how God works. And that is nothing compared to, you know, the revelation of God, because that revelation keeps going on and on and on, you see. But in life and death situations, will you believe? Will you believe if you have to stand in front of Nebuchadnezzar and tell him you're wrong? Or will you submit yourself out of your your fear or your, your, your pride or false arrogance and, and start creating something that submits to Nebuchadnezzar and the spirit that runs him. You see? Because if you don't know God, you will end up not doing what you're supposed to do. Can you imagine how somebody might feel if you are if you are Joseph and or if you are somebody you receive a somebody you say to to the to the other person let me talk to my God he will reveal what this dream means and then if you don't receive there's the risk of that person saying oh he doesn't know he'll kill him what kind of relationship you must have with God you see we don't have that today we don't have people like that they're too busy. Worried about uh, the, 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 the bondage Christianity and their, their life in this world. You see? Those are the real people. You see, they don't have... This, this, the, the, the highest thing of highest esteem is, the, is, is, is their God and God's kingdom. You see? We'll be walking with the kingdom of God within us. See? That kingdom of God is not the discriminatory one. You know, it's not one that says, Oh, you are this and you are down there, we are up here. This is why Satan fell, because that's how it was. And that's how he is. That's what he creates. Division. You see? That's what he creates. And he exalts the ones that are proud, mighty and arrogant prudent, the wise men of the world, the, the knowledge puffs up. You see? God exhausts the what? The humble, the broken, the least. He says it confound the wise, you know. With the small things, he's chosen the foolish and despised things of this world to confound its wisdom. You see? How? Because he's God. You don't want us to trust in all these things. You see? Otherwise we will now go around like the way that Christianity has in, around in this world and justified murder, pillage, rape, plundering, all kinds of things, wars, destruction. It has all been, it has all been sanctioned by, by, by Christians. 
they, it, what they need to do is if two nations are about on the verge of war the Christians in both nations should be diametrically opposed to that physical war you see and they should be praying to God for mercy but they don't want that because they are for the war because the identity is in that physical nation you see they want to go and look, allow old people to be destroyed and children. So they say they are pro-life, but then they are pro-destruction of little kids and babies in other nations. This is, this is pro-life to you? This is what it is to murder people and take the, take the land away from them? That is what every human being will do if push came to shove, but not what a child of God should do. It has happened all over under the sun. In every nation, they have, they have justified war and they have done things. They have had to destroy because that's what their security is is in is in the flesh. So when the flesh is threatened, then you have to fight physically. You see. But if you are receiving from something that is greater than the flesh, my friend, then your faith will not be in your hands. Your faith will not be in your mind. Your faith will not be in all these things that Christians are peddling and promoting the bank that they are selling. You know, that people are buying and eating and drinking. Vomit. That's what uh, everybody is, uh, uh, is eating and drinking. See? Becoming dogs. You know, in other places it says that they'll be cast out with all the dogs and sorcerers. You're becoming what? That's what we are all. We are all involved in sorcery. You look at the screens today, that's all you see. Sorcery, dogs. They're quoting this uh, arcane... Uh, 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 terminology from some ancient book it's in cartoons it's all over the place people are performing rituals live in music videos see this is the pursuit of life liberty and justice whose life whose liberty and whose justice see if a nation is truly the, representing the kingdom of God then the Holy Spirit will be in charge and if the Holy Spirit is in charge, my friend, then you have to stand up and you will oppose all the ways of the flesh, not exalt them. You will teach people to pick their cross up and follow after Jesus Christ. You see, you will teach people to become spirit-led, spiritual people. Not, not, not reading books and carnal people who are justifying things, you know. This is not it, my friend. This is what we have here in this life. That's what people are doing. Everything is living on credit. Their comfort is all owned by other people. See? And they, they're living this life. They're busy trying to talk down to people. They don't realize that God has sent people from, from what they consider poverty, the foolishness of this world, to teach them what really is, is, is going on in their land. But they don't want to listen, most of them. They won't listen. Because they are lost in their, their pride and in their arrogance and in their ways you see only by the mercy of God God can change bones dead men's bones and give them life but not in human strength you see but you see this is my, my the thing my friends where is your place and your nation today honestly ask yourself not, not that I'm some better person there's nobody else better the flesh is useless, no matter where, where it's from, <laughs> what the culture or land. It's all fake. It's 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 all temporary and ephemeral, fleeting moment, uh, uh, relative truth. My friends, where is your place in nation? Ask yourself, honestly.